New calls for answers after student athletes from Delaware claim they were victims of racial profiling. We're going to check y'all's luggage, okay? NBC 10 has obtained this body camera video. It shows deputies in Georgia pulling over a bus for the Delaware State University lacrosse team and then searching it for drugs. Now a parent of one of those athletes is responding to what happened to his daughter. NBC 10's Leah Uko also spoke to the team's coach tonight. Leah's in our newsroom with the latest. Now, deputies said that they pulled the bus over for being in the wrong lane, but the team's coach wants to know what justified the search of the player's belongings. She said while that's under investigation, deputies should immediately apologize for putting the team through unjustified trauma. Um, and I'll explain, this is our job, this is what we do. Liberty County, Georgia Sheriff's deputies' body camera footage shows them explaining their canine dinged on something outside a bus Delaware State University's women's lacrosse team was traveling in. One of the deputies coming back to the bus, saying this to the players on the predominantly black team. If there is something in there that is questionable, please tell me now. They said the canines hit justified them being able to search the players' belongings, but... At first, I was, I was glad she called me in. Patrick Campanelli disagrees. The criminal defense attorney's daughter, Emily, is on the team and called him as deputies were performing the search. You're talking about a vehicle that's used by many people. So it could be a lingering odor, even if the dog is correct. Liberty County Sheriff William Bowman released a statement Wednesday clarifying where his deputies search. Quote, no players were searched and the canine never entered the vehicle to search them. Only the front luggage area was checked. Racial profiling is still happening. Coach Pamela Jenkins calling for a public apology. I think my biggest fear is when we come back and we're, we're competing and we have to get on a bus again for a road trip, they, I don't know how they're going to respond. Well, Delaware's attorney general has asked the Department of Justice to step in and investigate this bus search. And Sheriff Bowman wrote in his statement he will use feedback to reassess his department's training standards as needed. Jim. Leah Uko, thank you.